doing my very best Michael Buble impression again. I know I talked about it last video, but every time I lean on my bed like this, it's like, fly. Dude, I always sing Frank Sinatra. I still haven't figured out a Michael Buble song. Anyways, morning gang. Yes, my mattress is still on the floor. It did not. My bed frame didn't fit through the tight like basement stairwell. Not the first time something didn't fit. A little racy, a little, little cheeky. Um, should I say it a 90th time? I'm moving, so shit's still coming together. I put up these lights. Oh, interior designer much? I, w I just wish I could do what you do in Lego video games. You know, like you got all your shit everywhere, and you hold A, and it swirls around and <laughs> fucking builds itself. But in this reality, I gotta hang up 70,000 command strips and put every single in item of my entire wardrobe onto a hanger. So it fucking blows, blows. But today, shoulders, oh, shoulders. Here's what I wanna, here's what I wanna say about it. Going to this new gym, I honestly prefer the like maxed natty look. I'm not maxed out by any means. I'm not giant. Some of these dudes, like you can tell they're on steroids. And with steroids, with steroids, sometimes things can grow too fast. Like if people like overly do one thing, then it looks super out of proportion. And these dudes at the gym, maybe because they're not even trying, maybe because they hit shoulders and then on chest, it also kind of use shoulders or something. But they got these fat shoulder like ginormous rounded shoulders You're like oh i want a, I want a rounded shoulder blah, blah, blah. not like this dude it looks so unnaturally large that i almost prefer that like i can just chisel down my own natty like the these dudes at the gym almost look like i don't know if you've ever seen that dude on tiktok who like uh, injected oil into his biceps so his biceps are like ridiculous ridiculously big like like ginormous and the rest of his body is like a skeleton like he's probably like 100 pounds but his biceps he injected with oil and then he goes like and think he looks all good but uh, you know it's probably like he convinced himself it looks good but it looks terrible obviously anyways long story short just train hard listen to good ass music good ass music is important eat a bunch of food you're going to look exactly how you want to look all the time. And we're going to get to where we both want to look, you and I, together. And there's my podcast, you know. I always feel like I'm doing a podcast when I hold the mic like this. But we're going to go to the gym. Thanks for being here. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for watching. Let's go work hard today. Let's go Let's go be great. And my setup will be done soon. So I don't have to do this whole, like, lean over the bed, kind of like fucking perfume commercial ass vibe. All right, let's go. Okay, y'all know exactly what time it is. The best time of the damn video. We talking over the lift. So these overhead Smith machine presses, you know, I used to do these when I very first started lifting, like years and years ago. Years ago. It makes me sound like I'm 90. I'm not that old, but these are absolutely insane. You're gonna have the bench kind of tilted like you do with dumbbell shoulder press. But you got to find the right hand grip and the right spacing in between your hands to get the perfect like front delt squeeze. You're going to know when it feels right. So make sure y'all are really, really focusing on the mind muscle here. Putting your elbows in the right place. Bringing it down to your mouth too. If you just bring it down to your mouth, so much easier. Again, bro, I love these. I've started doing them standing up and bending over. In this video, I've done them sitting down because I thought it'd be better. And I know my pace looks fast, but it's just because I'm trying to get power on going up to use heavier weight. And I do feel it in my rear delts, even though it might look goofy. I know it looks goofy, but I feel it. And I get a rear delt pump from it. And I feel it even if it's like not perfectly optimal. I'm working on it too, just like everybody's working on everything in the gym. These are going to figure themselves out. Do them stand up and bent over. God damn. Look at that arm, bro. I was doing shoulder day. So we're actually looking kind of fucking jacked. Actually, that's holy cow. I don't know if it's the lighting or what, but my God. Again, lateral raises too. I do these. I obviously do more sets. I just show you one set of every specific thing that I do. But as always, I do them till failure. I do drop sets. I make sure that I'm feeling it in the right place. Sometimes it's really been eye-opening watching back on, on the things that I record because like my pace of what I do things at and like how long I hold the squeeze. I really, it's been helping my gym now because sometimes I feel like I'm moving too fast or I'm moving whatever. But in the moment, it feels like the right pace and the right thing when I'm feeling it where I, like in my shoulders. But when I watch it back, sometimes it looks rushed or it doesn't look whatever. 
but I always make sure that I'm feeling it in the right place. God damn, son. Damn, son. Look at the shoulders. And this is so fucking goofy, ah, uh, bro. I don't know why it looks so goofy. I'm sitting mad weird, bro. Look at that giat on the kid. Um, hello, revealing angle. I recorded this and then watched it back and was like, oh my god, why do I look like an OnlyFans model trying to show out to get people to buy her fucking premium package on this shit? Because what? And again, it looks goofy. My pace is weird, but I'm feeling it in the right place. So even though it looks goofy and I'm fucking. I look like an OnlyFans model here with my posture. I don't know why I look like that. Like, I, I, don't, I don't know. I do different things from Weird Out Sound. It's not my favorite thing to do, but sometimes I throw these in to mix it up. It takes me a long time to find the mind-muscle connection on these, and I think I talk about it at the end of the video. But these feel really good if you can get them right. Sometimes you just don't have the mind-muscle connection, and then you're just like, okay, I need to do something else today. It, re it really depends on the day. And this machine, honestly, I didn't like it at first, but it, again, it's moving around sitting up straighter finding my hands in the right positions and really just focusing on mind muscle a lot of these won't do anything if you don't if you're not feeling it in the right places i make sure to go heavy and drop set too these feel really insane if you can do them correctly it's a good like side delt kind of front delt sometimes it's kind of what i used to do if you watch some of my older videos with the um with the like pole bar extension on the on the cable machine trying to get that side delt and this helps a lot with what i do i try to go power explode up and then slowly go down but obviously as i get tired it's not as strict a form but i really try to make sure to have a strict form as possible that's just where you're going to get the most growth obviously i'm still growing still learning i'm not i'm not a pro at any of this i'm just trying to be the best i can every single day appreciate y'all every time i wear the recycling shirt i feel like i'm not it's good luck charm let's see what we got let's see what we're working with But why is the lighting ass, dude? Lighting is ass, dude. All right, well, worst lighting of all time award goes to this fucking bathroom. But pretty decent lift. Did a lot. Did a lot. A lot going on. Those exercises I was doing, belt killer. That first Smith machine. I haven't done Smith machine in so long. And it was like insane, dude. Felt like when you haven't had Chipotle in a long time, you take that first bite and you're like, oh my God, I forgot how good it was. That's how that machine feels. It feels like a, oh my God, I need to start doing this every fucking time. I've also been trying to get rear delts up. Rear delts are so fucking hard to do. Like in the in the in the like whoever's made the body, like biceps, just do a curl. Back, just do a little pull down. You can feel it perfectly. And they're like rear delts. They're like good fucking luck, buddy. Oh, we don't really know. Use a fucking weight and figure out how to hit it. It's like you got to be so dialed in mentally to get that perfect mind muscle to hit it and you still don't even really fucking feel it and there's no like perfect machine for it you got to do it with dumbbells and have like strict ass form i don't know it's me just bitching but once you get it you get it i kind of get it still getting better at it but thank you everybody for watching humongous i hope you're getting humongous today i hope you're getting after it today because i'm trying to get after it. you know chiefs ravens play tonight first game of the nfl season i'm a big nfl guy um, also rooting for the Chiefs on this one, only because I got a little parlay. So don't fucking come at me being like, "Ooh, Ravens are better." It's like I know, but money. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. A ton of new content coming soon. I appreciate everybody in here right now, and I'll see you in the next video. Like and subscribe.